sometimes bit is better. What is going on guys? Welcome back to my channel and we are just three days away from the release of the new remake and reimagining of Pet Cemetery, which is based off the Stephen King novel. And so I decided, what better way to celebrate this new movie than by watching the original film that came out in 1989, again based off of the same story by Stephen King. And so I watched it, I went out, bought the 4K, um, I think it looks pretty good on 4K for the most part. Uh, it's got that graininess, which I like. Some of the colors are more popped. But anyway, guys, this is my review of Pet Cemetery 1989. This movie stars Fred Gwynn and Dale Midkiff, and it is directed by Mary Lambert. This movie centers around the Creed family that move into this new house, and they have this path that leads to this pet cemetery where kids go and bury their beloved pets that have died when the family cat tragically gets ran over by a truck lewis creed the dad goes with his neighbor judd goes to this new part this new discovered part of the pet cemetery that is kind of off in the distance and they go and bury the cat there the cat reawakens and comes back to life a lot different and then, tragically, his youngest son, Gage, who is three years old, gets hit by a truck. Lewis decides to go and bury him. Although all the warnings are there that there's something evil out in that cemetery, he decides to bury Gage in that same exact spot. And that is where we are with Pet Cemetery. This movie, it's a little low budget. Some of the acting is a little bad at, at moments. But overall, I, I found this film to be really entertaining, very enjoyable. I thought the character of Zelda was very creepy. I thought Gage as a three-year-old zombie kid was very, very creepy. And the laugh, he 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 like the little kid laugh that he does, it, it, it just really kind of shocked me. And I feel like a lot of people that watched this movie in the theater back in 1989 were probably shocked by it as well. The one thing I did like is that it wasn't very graphic when it came to the death of Gage. I think that would have been really hard to watch and swallow. But it gives you enough there, based on the emotions from the family, and especially from Lewis Creed, that, you know, this was such a horrendous accident. This is something that shouldn't have happened, but it did. And the whole motto of, like, dead is better, it really fits well with this movie, because dead truly is better than, ha you know, having somebody kind of come back as, like, a zombie, where pretty much they just want to wreak havoc and kill people. So I think Dead is better, but it, it also, this movie deals with a lot of themes when it comes to loss, when it comes to what is after this life. It deals with a lot of spiritual aspects, and I, I like that about this film. It's really cool, you get a nice cameo from Stephen King himself in this movie, he plays a priest. So that was really nice. I didn't notice at first it was Stephen King, but then I was like, oh yeah, wait, that is totally Stephen King. There are a couple negatives about this film. Number one is, there is some pacing issues. This movie starts off really slow really really slow it takes a while to get into it like i think two months ago this movie i found on amazon prime i was going to watch it i started watching it got 15 20 minutes in and it just it just felt very long to me and so i decided you know what i'm gonna have to try to watch this another day and sitting down and watching this movie now i can see the the pacing issues because the movie starts off slow and then because it it starts off really slow. At the end, it tries to pick itself back up, and it kind of you know goes off the rails and just really speeds things up. And things happen so quickly. It's not an ideal movie for the first like 20 to 25 minutes because they're trying to set the groundwork, but it's just very slow. Once you kind of get into the death of the cat Churchill, then it gets so much better, and it, it, it makes it easier. The the pacing you know flows a little bit better, but towards the end, you can definitely tell. Watch it. If you just watch the beginning of this movie and the end of this movie, you could totally tell the editing for the end of the film is just a lot quicker. Like, things move a lot faster. And so there are some pacing issues with that itself. I think, acting-wise, Fred Gwynn as Judd in this film was pretty good. His voice was interesting. Um, I think that's just the way he talks, but it was just kind of interesting. Sometimes it didn't fit. 
where like there was a certain emotion that needed to be played out, but it just seemed like he didn't have that type of emotion. And there was some like really awkward pauses. There's one in particular in the beginning of the movie where the family first moves in and you see Judd across the street. He comes over, saves their youngest son, Gage, from getting hit by a truck in the beginning of the movie. It's foreshadowing because eventually he does get hit by the truck. And he's talking to uh, Ellen, the, the daughter, and basically uh, Ellen, he's like, oh, and, and who are you, little miss, and all this stuff. And he's asking her these questions, and she answers him. And then there's just like this really awkward pause for like a couple seconds. And then he just kind of like turns to the dad. It's, it's kind of weird. It just feels out of place. I feel like maybe they were trying to go for a specific thing, but it didn't quite work when all was said and done because it just didn't make sense for me to have that awkward pause in there. Because it didn't seem like he was thinking about it or anything. Because she's a little girl. He was just more like, how old are you? Oh, and it, it was just really weird. and it, it just didn't fit. Overall, though, this was a fun time. I think it's really fun. Zelda's very creepy. You have some cool imagery in this film. There is also some really bad CGI in this film, one particular. Overall, it's, it's a good movie. The one haunting image from this movie that I can't get out of my head is after Lewis goes and digs up Gage. He has Gage. He puts him in his arms, you know, and Gage is dead. So it's just like a flail body. And he just puts him in his arms, and he's just holding him. That scene was pretty, pretty chilling. I don't think I'll ever be able to forget that. So I'm really looking forward to Pet Cemetery 2019. I will have a review up on the channel probably on Saturday. I am going to go see it on Friday, but usually it takes a day for me to kind of get stuff out. And also I'm seeing Shazam, so I try not to do two videos in one day. It just makes it hard. Anyway, guys, you should definitely check out Pet Cemetery 1989. If it's not your style, it's a little B-movie-ish at times, but I think it's a, it's a fun movie and... It's, it's definitely a good time to watch. So make sure you like this video. Subscribe to my channel if you are new. I post content like this every single week. And as always, I will see you guys in my next video. Goodbye.